So that's what I'm talking about, knowing your why. It's knowing the essence of who you are, what you stand for, what you believe in. And that's how you really garner support. That's how you really get someone behind you. Uh, that's how you really get that person at the other end of the table to say, you know what, you're going to add value when you step onto this campus. So that's what we want to you know, help ourselves narrow down before we step into any interview. All right, so I'm going to try to back out of this. Okay, so moving on to the next aspect about the pre-interview process. Understanding what you're up against. Um, so we want to address um, accessing your points of in information. So that includes knowing your audience and know your odd. So a lot of this information can be found, it's readily available, and so let's look at some of the places that you can access your uh, points of information. So uh, first and foremost, one that I know we all use on a daily basis or a very regular basis, but maybe doesn't come first in mind during that college research, prepping for an interview process, YouTube. YouTube has every bit of information you need from the culture and the style of the school and the environment on the campus to learning more about the extracurricular activities on campus to getting some actual reviews. Potentially, I use YouTube to uh, understand how I should approach some of my MBA interviews because I've actually seen reviews from students sharing their experience. So it's been a great resource and a great learning tool for myself. Um, school websites, uh, definitely and obviously, they'll have all the very uh, relevant and up-to-date statistics as far as um, uh, the eth ethnic breakdown of how many come in, how many come in from out of the country, how many come in from within the state, and that's very useful information. Um, schools are very strategic in how they target the students that come in, and there's always opportunity to learn how you can leverage that information. Uh, case in point, I learned that USC, they have an unfortunate mindset that if you're coming in as an undergrad student and you live in a certain vicinity around that campus, they may assume you might need scholarship or some type of financial aid. And therefore, it might be tougher for you to get into that school. But if you know that bit of information, there's a couple of different very key, um, I want to say, extracurricular programs or, or uh, college access programs that are able to bend around those uh, standards at USC. So if you know your information, if you know what you're up against, you can leverage it to support you in the best way possible. Um, also, check out bigfuture.org if you haven't heard about it or checked it out already. It's one of my favorite college resource tools. They have a uh, portal where you can just go in and scroll if you want to be in on a large campus, a small campus, if you want to be in a rural area or in a city, and it'll help you define your college search, as well as getting very relevant uh, statistic information about each college and whatnot. Um, but moreover, I think it's a really good way to understand um, how that school views themselves, what information they're putting out there to um, you know, further their brand in a way to speak. Um, also see if you can contact the school or contact uh, alumni through LinkedIn. Um, there's different things you can try to get in touch with uh, alumni or even current students, um, whether it's just going on campus and taking a tour and asking them, did you have an interview before you came to this school? How is that process for you? How's the culture on campus? Um, understanding those things are, are very key to be able to, to yield, I mean, uh, wield once you're in the interview room. And then lastly, um, utilize your friends and teachers. Um, ask them what they know about different schools. Ask them why they're applying to different schools. Maybe it will get you, give you some understanding if you hear a friend talking about, oh, well, you know, I'm really excited about UCLA or Stanford because they have strong business programs. Um, that might get you in the mind frame, well, okay, I'm looking at Cal Poly, what are they known for? Oh, they have really strong teaching programs. Do I want to leverage that in my conversation? Um, so, you know, just having that kind of casual back and forth and understanding how others might be pitching or branding themselves, it might give you some ideas as well. So let's move on to our third and last point of the pre-interview process which is thinking with the end in mind. 
So here we want to have a mental picture of your end goal. Uh, we want to understand how we're going to come prepared, dress for success. Um, be humble and channel that inner cool. And that is a unique combination, and I mean both of those to the fullest extent. Channel that inner cool, channel that inner swag. I don't care what you have to do. If you have that, that I'm tight playlist or I'm a beast playlist, whatever your, that playlist name is, bump it on the way to your interview. Get hyped, get excited. If you need to do the Dougie or something, go ahead and let that out. I'm serious, you need to get emotionally invested into the fact that you are great and the fact that you're gonna own and beast that interview and the fact that whoever's across that table, you're going prepared to be humble, build a relationship with them in that five, 10, 30 minute dynamic. You're going in to build a relationship. And that's a key essential part of knowing your why and pitching yourself. So let's keep furthering on and let's get into a quick recap before we move on to the current interview process. So we went over knowing your why, understand what you're up against, and thinking with the end in mind. Um, before we jump on to the during interview process, are there any brief questions around this, these concepts so far? Okay, Roger. all right, let's do it. So next up, during the interview, <coughs> two very basic concepts. Be clear and selling yourself equals selling your iPad and I'll get into what that means. But first, be clear, that's very essential. And it's very easy to not do. And I think that's one thing that, not just at this stage of y'all's life, our life when we were at that, um, uh, that point in our time, um, but beyond that, when you get into the point of the scope when you're interviewing for internships and interviewing for jobs and career opportunities, the quintessential dynamic within that interview is just being clear. And that starts way before the interview, knowing what you want. Um, and then once you're actually within that room, fully answering the question. And don't hesitate to say, you know, do, I, do you mind if I take notes? Um, and that actually is something that I picked up because I have a very good ability to go on tangents and just ramble on. Um, you know, they'll ask me a question about what do I want to major in, next thing you know, I'm telling my life history and how I want to change the world, and they're like, that was 30 minutes or so, bro. <laughs> so, do yourself a favor. Write a, write a quick note right before you answer the question. They won't think any negative of it. Matter of fact, they might look at it as a sign of maturity and knowing yourself and being prepared as well. Um, and then remaining relevant. Um, as I mentioned, I, I used to have a really good ability to go on tangents, um, but just writing that quick note would help me be able to take that glance and remember, okay, did I address that? I did, so let me stop and allow them to take on the road. Um, but be clear and be calm in the sense of, it's okay if they ask you something that doesn't suit well for you or isn't what you want. And that's a part of being clear. No, I'm not here to major in sociology. I know that's what you all are known for. But it just so happens that I met a business student and he was really jazzed up about some of the future programs that you all are looking to install. You don't have to bend and curve to fit what they might be trying to sell you on. You're here to tell your story and to sell you. Selling yourself, the iPad strategy. So I call it iPad strategy. I can't say it, I call it that. A good buddy of mine, a Morehouse brother of mine, calls it the iPad strategy, but it actually leverages the word my uh, in the acronym, and it stands for expressing my opinion, I mean, excuse me, expressing my passion, uh, speaking to my application, and expressing my destiny. If you hit on three, these three core points, there's no way you can lose. There's no way you're gonna walk out of that room and that person across that table doesn't know the, the good gist about you and what you can contribute on that campus. By expressing your passion, a good chunk of that is expressing your why. By speaking on and addressing your application, 
you'll be going over all the key points and all the components that are in essence your story. And you know your story before you go into that room. So really before the interview, you're just trying to understand how can you bucket it into different bite sizes. And that's really what you want to get a hold on. You can tell your story in 500 words. You can tell your story in 350 words. You can tell your story in a phrase. That's what you want to get the flow of. But you know your story. And so knowing your application is really just about how do I want to curate those different bite sizes to be prepared when I get addressed different questions. Knowing your destiny and being able to speak to it. And you don't have to know it down to the T. This is not you know, a hundred question scantron on you and your future. This is just, hey, you know, I'm here to change the world. And how that looks like to me is social justice. Or you know what? Because of the recent uh, political interactions, immigration has really risen to the core of my emotional frustration. And I want to do something about it. And so that's what I'm here to, to further myself, to build myself so I can eventually touch on that in one way or another. You don't have to say, do my being a political major, I'm going to do X, Y, and Z to do that. You just have to say, this is my why, this is what I stand for, this is how my passion is going to culminate into progressive action. So quick recap of during the interview. Two key, very easy points. Be clear and the iPad strategy. My passion, my application, my destiny. Okay, so now it's time to put all this into practice. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. Yes. Okay, great, great. Okay, so I'm not even going to give you all a chance to volunteer. I'm going to count you all out. We're going to go one, two, threes, and we're going to have the twos come up here first. So we're going to start here with the one. <laughs> activity I call pitch with purpose. What we have here, two stack of cards. One has a list of names, so they're the who's. Another has a list of actions, what you'll be speaking to. They're the what's. We're going to start here, and we're going to go down the line. What you do, you'll come up. I'm going to let them laugh at you. You cool with that? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to pick up a who. Otherwise, I would just demonstrate it so you get it, so I'm going to let you see the first one. You're going to pick up the who, you're going to show the class who it is, you're going to pick up the what, and you're going to have to act as you're speaking to that who, providing that what. Go figure it out real quick. So go on ahead, show them who the who is. Your crush. <laughs> All right, what is the what? What is the what? <laughs> what is the what? Go ahead and read it. You can read it. You should write my, my letter of recommendation because. And then how this will go is you'll have 20 seconds to freestyle talk as if you're talking to your crush. <laughs> Why she should write your letter of recommendation. And so, since we're getting in the flow, 
We won't, we won't put him on the spot just yet. We'll let him get back in line. We're gonna reshuffle the cards. He's gonna come up. And this time, this time, so he'll come up, read it, show them real quick, and then go ahead and just read this out loud and, and jump into it. Oh, and once you read that second card, your 20 second begins. Oh, you should hire me because. Go. Uh, Beyonce. You should hire me because I am a hard working person. Um, I have a master's degree. Um, I'm good at entertainment. Um, I'm the best person you've ever hired. <laughs> about time. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. And that's part of the practice. So we definitely all find ourselves in moments where we're pushed to think of things on the spot like this. And so in these dynamics, we need to have what I call our, our, our toolkit, our bag of tools that we can reach into, our go-to items that I'm great at this, I'm great at that, and I can do this, and I can sell you this. That's our toolkit, and that we always need to have prepared on our side. So thank you, I appreciate you being the guinea pig. Uh, we'll have you get back in line, and we're gonna go with our, our, our second individual. although we're poking up a card that describes who we're speaking to, we're talking about ourselves. So once again, think selfishly. And this is the realm where it's perfectly okay to be selfish. same background, except I'm not from Hawaii. I love Hawaii. <laughs> we can talk about Hawaii. <laughs> you can write my letter of recommendation, including Hawaii, <laughs> Chicago, you know. Uh, we both kind of have So our flow is getting better. Our flow is getting better, but once again, we got to come with that selfish dynamic. I can do this for you. So that's what they want to know. Why? What impact are you gonna have? Why should I hire you? I know I'm great. Shoot, I made. But why <laughs> am I gonna believe in you? Go for it. You gotta follow that. My favorite teacher. Yeah. You should hire me. Okay. So you should hire me because. I just finished taking uh, AP Calc AB, and I feel like I could be able to teach all the students, uh, not only so that they got the information, but they wouldn't forget it next year, and I'm good at organizing, so I could do easy to make good lesson plans. <laughs> good job, good job. All right, all right. <laughs> I just want to make a quick comment. No, my bad. I uh, just want to make a quick comment, though. Uh, really appreciate it how you made the conversation about what you could do for your favorite teacher. 
um, a lot of times what might make it easier is thinking about what is something that they might be struggling with? What is something that might be hard for them? Because wouldn't we all want help with what we're struggling with? Why would you want help with something that you are really, really good at? Like, if you're great at playing video games, would you want your mom hovering over your shoulder like, oh baby, you need to press X. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so think of it with how can you really deliver an impact? How can you support them? Because that's what's going on in their mind. And uh, still flip that one over. I know it has right. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> through this one. Let's walk through this one. What is something that you might want to major in in college? Biology. Okay. Why? Um, I want to be a dermatologist. Uh, I see a lot of African American women dermatologists in my area, so I want to be part of that. And I've like dealt with acne my whole life, so I can do it with dermatology. Uh, so, crush. <laughs> I can contribute to your life because I'm gonna be one of the leading black women, not just in my field of biology, but in America, crossing barriers and leading the way for future young black women to become not just dermatologists themselves, but to know that my skincare products will make them feel so empowered that they'll be delivering future talks about how to perform interviews and, and public speaking as well. So once again, think about your why. Think about what you want to do. And that's how you can help people. It's not detached from us. Thank you. And I know it's tough. I know it's tough. You guys are too long. So I, I want to comment on something I think I saw. And you can correct me if I'm wrong. But sometimes the who can intimidate us and get us thrown out of our thought process, you know? And so it's your crush, you're, you're not thinking, bio, my future career, <laughs> but do you want your crush to be on top of it with their future career? Do you want to be covering their bills and their debt? No. You want them on top of it too, right? So it's the same as if you're in front of someone for an interview for college or an interview for, for an internship you're still showcasing what you can contribute. And what you can contribute in one area of your life is what you can contribute in all areas of your life. All right, go for it, my man. If I were you, I would. If I were you, if I were you, I would continue to do what I was doing in my school and um, try to see who you are by um, working hard and contributing to my community like I did with my school. And um, time, you know? It's tough, it's tough, but good start. And, and I appreciate that just because it was Beyonce, you didn't feel like you had to make it music oriented. Um, so that's another thing. Uh, Beyonce is all about giving back. She's all about young people, empowerment, uh, natural hair. Well, no, that's a thing. <laughs> At least keys, my bad, my bad. Um, but you know, her interest, her skill sets, her involvement extends beyond the world of music. And there is much opportunity for you to leverage your strength in many different components that I'm sure she would be interested in as well. Um, so I'm sorry, I gotta, I gotta cut off the line right there. Um, uh, I need my threes up here. Real quick. And my ones, if y'all can take a purple card.
you to do while the threes are doing rapid fire pitching, um, you all are going to write down one thing, one thing. If you could change anything in the world, what is one thing you would change? And I want you to write that down. Um, okay, so my threes, y'all ready? Alright, go, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. Alright, quick, we're, we're moving through it. And right when he's done, you're going. Alright, I got Kobe. My God. You should write my letter of recommendation because um, much like you, I plan to go into a field that I can help people. I know that you like to donate, and as a lawyer in the future, I want to try to do the same thing, but I want to donate my services to organizations, and I know that you can really speak to my sentiment in that form. Good, good, good. Um, I I'll let you stop a couple of seconds short, but I really appreciated how you connected on the give back aspect. Good job. All right, let's do it. Okay, I got Obama. You should hire me because, well, just like you, I have a lot of passion. I am there to help people. I like to uh, look beyond expectations and go beyond what everyone thinks, what they know. Um, I feel like if you hire me, I can really present myself to you and show my full potential as a person and how we <laughs> good job, good job. Alright, next up, let's go for it. No, 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 don't try to pass it off. Yeah. Your favorite teacher and the backlight, yeah. Uh, I'm great because I can contribute. Um, I like to grade papers and I like to uh, make sure everybody is getting the materials because they're gonna need it when you graduate. So break it down. Um, what is something that you would like to see changed in America? I guess you better do it. Okay. So potentially you could sit down and help the teacher design a school together. And y'all can start a charter school. That's a possibility, right? Yeah. And I'm sure they would like that help. Yeah. Okay. So feel free to be, feel free to think big with what you might be able to contribute. Um, it doesn't have to be just, you know, in the sense of grading papers. It could be if I am helping you out now in grading papers and we build a relationship, I would love to share with you how I think. Stay strong, continue to be passionate about you know, the things you love. And you know, I know that I can contribute in your life and I can help you accomplish your goals just the way you can help me with mine. And I just want to help you change the world just the way I think. Okay, okay. So, I'm sorry y'all for the sake of time. So. I can't wish you luck. All right, um, give all of y'all a round of applause. So we're able to put a little bit of that into practice um, and to uh, move on to the next bit, the post interview portion. So after the interview, real basic, and then uh, I'm going to jump back into recapping everything. Um,
self debrief, seek feedback where possible, and follow up with a thank you. Um, so going down uh, you know, one at a time. Take some time, whether it's immediately after. Um, for me, it's typically once I get back to my car, because you're walking to the car, you're like, <laughs> get in the car, and I take a moment to just take that deep sigh of relief and to think. I give myself about 10, 15 minutes. Feel free to give yourself uh, more than that. Um, but think, how do you feel? Not just that, that nervous angst of I went through that, but did you feel like you established a good rapport with the person at the other end of the table? Do you feel like their energy was similar or matched yours? Do you feel like they were a good representation of the school that you potentially want to go to? Do you feel like you were a good representation of yourself? Think about those things. All of these things you can learn from. Don't beat yourself up. No one gets this right on the first try. If you get it right on the last. It's about being diligent with knowing how you want to go in prepared and walking away being able to think that I execute on that strategy. Did I, did I attack that interview like I planned and I hoped? <coughs> Seek feedback where possible. Sometimes you're lucky you have a, a, a relationship with someone in the office or you have a, a relationship with the interviewer even. In which case, definitely seek the opportunity to ask them directly. Hey, how do you think I, I did? Um, do you think there are things I can do better? Uh, did you sense my nervousness? I felt me shaking, did you see that? Um, you know, all of these things you can once again learn from, grow from, and be better, because you're going to have more interviews. That's a given. And once you perfect telling your story and, and expressing your why, you can get anything you want in the world. That's why some of the, you know, biggest nonprofits get large donations. People just, I'm going to write a check to Red Cross. Where's that money going? Bro, you don't even know. <laughs> you just believe. And so you, you, you write it, and it goes off. <laughs> and so we want you to be Red Cross. You want to be able to say your name and thousands of dollars sent. I don't even know what they're going to do with it, but I believe in them. Think of yourself in that way. Follow up. I'm wrapping up. Um, follow up <laughs> with a thank you. Um, definitely get an opportunity to ask for their email uh, while you're in the interview and follow up with a, a brief email saying thank you, I appreciate the time that you, um, you know, offered and, and the uh, opportunity I had in building a relationship with you. Um, some of you even might want to go to the extent of saying, do you mind if I follow up with you in the near future to check on my progress or to um, inquire further questions if I have any. Uh, quick recap, so pre-interview, we talked about it. During the interview, post-interview, um, we covered in throughout these uh, to understand how to go about telling our story, uh, strategic approaches to interviewing, um, coming prepared, coming hyped up, emotionally bought in, um, having our, our tool bag ready, how are we going to change the world, uh, what is our destiny um, for our ones, that's what we got prepared, uh, how are you going to change the world, you can leverage that in any conversation. Uh, selling yourself, pitching you, we talked about the iPad strategy, passion, application, destiny, and developing positive interview habits. Um, being strategic with how you know you want to attack it, and making sure you're learning from it afterwards. We have time for maybe one short question. Yes, well, would you say for a college interview, Um, I would say, generally speaking, the uh, interviewer is going to know your application. Um, so that's why when we talk about knowing your application, it's really about knowing how you want to deliver it in these different chunk sizes. So I would say you might be more beneficial to express how you want to leverage your past your history, your past knowledge and experiences on the campus. I was an SGA all throughout high school, so I plan to get involved in the student body government on the college campus and really make an impact. Or I, I grew a real interest for entrepreneurship throughout high school, as you can see on my resume or my application, and I plan to get involved with that club or engage in that 
major. Um, so touch on it, but emphasize your impact in the future on that campus. And as well, potentially, how that impact aligns with that school's mission. Thanks, Corbin. Be sure to take a quick picture of that if you need his contact information. Yes, yes, by all means, I'm completely available if you have any questions whatsoever. And then we also want to grab a picture with you at the back of All right, if you guys could quickly, quickly, like one minute. Wrap up all your stuff, head back to the other room. We're coming back here later, but it's not until 2 o'clock, so just take everything with you. And take a seat in the back of the classroom really quickly, so I can dismiss you all. Please do not head straight down to the atrium. Go back to the classroom across the way, so I can tell you what's going on. Um, for those of you who have your uh, How You Want to Change the World card, um, I encourage you, you guys have like uh, peer coaching teams or breakout teams? No. Share them with your peers, express to them how you plan to change the world, and get them on your side. You'll uh, need them as teammates. All right. Quickly, quickly, guys. Quickly, you move, quickly, get to eat, take everything with you. Yeah.